I learned from a, a young age, uh, reading a book called Inner Athlete by Dan Millman, oh, yeah. I learned how powerful the body was and just the power of the mind. And if you could get the right ingredients in the body, the body could heal from literally anything. And so my journey of, of health really came by me getting the right labs ran. And so that's what I've done in my practice. I love the experience of it. Like you get this amazing warm rush. It's indescribable the first time in your brain. And then the sleep is amazing. Definitely senses. I noticed my sense of sight. Everything got clearer yeah. yep. over the next few days. And it, I noticed a change almost immediately, like within a couple of days, yeah. plus the focus. It was like night and day, literally. But sarcopenia is something that built up there. But when I looked at her labs, no one had talked to her about this. No one talked to her about her pancreas, her kidneys, her blood sugar, mm -hmm. anything. It was just all dismissed. To, and it was basically framed through the classic uh, excuse, which is, oh, it's because of your age. Hey, hey, this is Mike Canids, my good buddy, Reagan Archibald. Welcome to another episode of Capability Amplifier. You ready to get this thing going? Can't wait. Let's do it. So I want to tell you a little story, which is my 91-year-old mother-in-law, Mirta Glick, just lost 35 pounds. And for the first time in the 25 years that I've known her, she is pain-free, more cogent, more mobile. And in fact, we just came back from traveling with her in Pescadero, Baja, Mexico, where she was totally mo mobile and kept up with us for a week and a half. That's us, meaning my wife, Vivian, and I. Now, she also has stayed with us here at our house in San Diego for the past three months, and she lives by herself in Queens, New York City. So I'm so proud of her because she made a commitment to her health a while ago, and it has paid off in spades, which reminds me of my wife, Vivian. Now, she also has had plenty of aches and pains. She just got some scans back from visiting my good friend, Steve Marler, at Advanced Longevity, and her knee cartilage is regenerating. A lot of people say that is impossible. How is that possible? Well, keep on listening, keep on watching. So I'm here with Reagan Archibald. Now, if you don't know him, he's a longevity expert, and he has a company called Ageless Medicine and East Wells West Health. And he works with notables, including my good friend, Dan and Babs, uh, Babs Smith, Dan Sullivan from Strategic Coach, Chris Voss, um, Garrett Gunderson, Hal Elrod, he's the author of Miracle Morning, uh, books, Michael Mogul, former professional baseball player, Rob Rogers, Lisa Sasevich, Bren, Ben Greenfield, Jim and Jamie Shields, Charles Gaudet, Becky Robbins, who was just over here last night, Justin Donald, Charles Bird, and many, many others. In fact, I know I've sent, how many people so far over to you? Uh, over a hundred. All right. Lots of folks. So I'm going to give him a special challenge, which is with all the latest technology, resources, and tools available in longevity, life extension, age reversal, health optimization, what are the latest breakthroughs that can give you an unfair advantage so you can double your energy, dramatically increase your sleep by 80% or more, increase your lean muscle mass by five pounds or more, and if you have weight to lose, lose an average of 30 pounds in under six months, and also have a average 93% increase in your overall sense of well-being and happiness. Those are all recorded, consistent details and results that Reagan's patients get. And by the way, he's done almost 9,000 tests. So with that, that was a lot of stuff. You ready to get rocking? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. So um, I, I want to just set this up through the lens of, first of all, for anyone who doesn't know what you do, who you are, what your background is, why don't you just give them a little background because this will all make a little more sense. Yeah, so uh, growing up on a farm in Idaho, uh, my goal was to be anything but a rancher when I grew up. And so winters were cold, uh, farm work was challenging. And, and so I had an uncle who was a doctor and I said, I want to be like Lester J. He's got uh, phenomenal summers, he's got the boat. And uh, I really loved the just gentle nature that he had. And, and so uh, in my undergraduate work, I started uh, getting sick and I had five misdiagnoses. And the doctors all said, hey, everything looks normal. Uh, we think you're stressed. Uh, here's some steroids. Here's some antibiotics. And uh, be on your way. It's all in your head, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And so I 
found a doctor, a naturopathic doctor who's also an acupuncturist who ran the right labs. And that's really what opened up my my eyes to a whole nother world of medicine that I, I really didn't know much about. I mean, I dabbled in medicine a little bit. I mean, I have medicine in parentheses and natural stuff. I gave my entire basketball team eight grams of vitamin C before one basketball game. We all ended up with diarrhea. But yep, that'll um, learn you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, we lost the game, and I I didn't dabble uh, much after that. No one trusted me. But <laughs> well, they were dabbling on the basketball court, unfortunately, <laughs> dribbling and dabbling. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. But but that's what really uh, you know. I I, I learned from a, a young age. Uh, reading a book called Inner Athlete by Dan Millman, oh, yeah. I learned how powerful the body was and just the power of the mind. And if you could get the right ingredients in the body, the body could heal from literally anything. And so my journey of, of health really came by me getting the right labs ran. And so that's what I've done in my practice. I've been, I founded East West 20 years ago. Um, and we've been the, the first at brain rejuvenation therapies. We're the first to, to combine Chinese medicine and herbal medicine with functional medicine. Uh, we're practicing functional medicine before it's even called that. Um, we also were the first to start using uh, peptides and stacking peptides in very specific ways. And so I've trained hundreds of doctors on, on our, our intellectual property and how to do it properly. Um, and then most recently, we've gotten into um, using plasma exchange, using umbilical cord blood, plasma, to actually help remove some of the debris and toxins from the body. And so it's, it's been really phenomenal, but we've always based it on having the right lifestyle, getting a person engaged in better nutrition, better exercise habits, and really giving them a future that's, that's uh, you know, use Dan Sullivan phrase, a future that's bigger than their past when it comes to their health. Because it's that last decade of life is when we find that people go off a cliff and it's their worst decade. I mean, the what people look forward to is turning the the channel on the TV. That's that's yeah. the extent of it. Yep. And so what we want to do is make sure that all, all of our clients, they live incredibly long lives, but healthy lives. And when it's their time to die, it's called compressed morbidity, where you die fast. Yep. So our goal is to help you die fast, Mike. Yeah, How yeah about I like that? that. That's a good, that's well packaged. We'll yeah. just end right there. Um, but, um, okay, so I've obviously been through this. I've been a patient now for years. We've been working together. We just spent two days together um, and we're preparing at this moment. We're heading off to Genius Network right after we're done here. We're hopping on a plane today. And um, a big part of what we've been talking about is some of the new advanced stuff that you've been up to, which I'm super excited about because I'm about to undergo and start doing some of the things. I will say that about a year ago was the first time I did the intranasal. And um, anyone who knows me knows I've got ADHD, worse than most, <laughs> um, and always had it, like totally undiagnosed. There was no such thing as that when you and I grew up. But it took a couple weeks and my concentration went through the roof and it also happened right around the time. I remember it was within a, within a few weeks of ChatGPT being released. So mm. I started studying AI and my ability to comprehend and invent and create new things just went through the roof, the combination of the intranasal plus. But uh, I know we're gonna tear into a bunch of stuff, but that's one of my favorite things that I'm really excited about. Can you just tell yeah. people what that is and how it works and what it does? Um, I know we're breaking the rules here in terms of our framework, but no, I just no. love this because I'm going to come down as soon as I can and get another shot. Yeah, it, it's amazing. So I was at a uh, a conference, the Perinatal Stem Cell Society. I'm a, I'm a member of it, have been for years. And about 10 years ago, there was a famous researcher, famous in our field, Arnold Kaplan. And he's, he's the researcher that named MSCs or mesenchymal stem cells or mesenchymal stem cells, um, which now he's changed it to medicinal signaling cells. But I was in, in the, the conference and he started talking about getting stem cells through the blood-brain barrier. And the biggest challenge we had is these large cells can't make it through the blood-brain barrier. So if you're doing IVs or things like that, uh, our doctors would have to use a drug called mannitol to temporarily suspend the blood-brain barrier, mm -hmm. which is dangerous. And so so when, once I learned about the nasal mist, I mean, I was like you uh, over, just over a decade ago, very ADD, um, you know, partially diagnosed through questionnaires. 
But I was in the audience standing up, of course, because I couldn't sit down for very long. And we call that the spilkus. The, the spilkus. Spil- spilkies. Yeah, the, the, the ants in the pants. The, yeah. t- <laughs> the spilkus. The Yiddish for ants in the pants. I love that. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, so I was uh, spilking in the back. <laughs> and um, and I learned about it. And I went up to Arnold Kaplan after. Can I get a picture of you? I really appreciate the work you've done because I've read so many of his articles. And um, I said, what device were you using? He said, oh, we're using a Sphenocath. And we were using Sphenocast at the time with Marcaine to get to get the Marcaine into the back of the the brain or the back of the sinuses so they would travel up through the sphenopalatine ganglion and numb the headache and it worked great so i said oh i know exactly how to do it so now i had you know seeing the stem cells in the the image that he showed the stem cells were able to migrate through the blood brain barrier and then they were able to surround the areas of the brain that had been damaged. So these were TBI patients, patients who had had strokes, like hemorrhagic strokes or traumatic brain injuries. And so I've had at least six concussions. And I think that was a big part of my kind of ADD, ADHD. Not on purpose, by the way. Not, not on purpose. Not yet. on purpose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Two by four in the head. No, thanks. Um, but I went to the the clinic and I grabbed one of my nurse practitioners, Dev, and I said, all right, we're doing intranasal stem cells. And he's like, what? No way. And so we actually did treated my brain first. And, um, and it was amazing because that night I went to sleep and I slept 11 hours Mm -hmm. and I'm like a seven, eight hour sleeper. And it was like all the memories were being organized in my brain. And I woke up the next morning and I could hear birds chirping. Mm -hmm. So I went from being like the kid in the classroom. I had a teacher named Mrs. Godfrey in second grade. And almost every week I got called to the front of the room. She had a four foot tall um, like toothbrush that was a paddle and I had to hold my ankles. Well, I wasn't sure where this was going at first. So uh, I thought it was going to be funny. Swatted. (laughs) I got swatted. So so she was free of God. And that was because I was so wrapped up in my brain. So, Uh so for me to actually hear birds chirping, and this was after years of trying to meditate for hours, Mm -hmm. beating myself up because I couldn't get, I I thought it was a deficit in my character, Mm. but what I realized it was inflammation in my brain. And so we've now done the procedure over 600 times um you like many of others have said wow my brain feels better than it ever has because yeah. your focus comes back memory so it's been a phenomenal treatment there's some great research on it um great things that we've seen and um lots of documented cases yeah i just um i agree 100 so i love the experience of it like you get this amazing warm rush it's indescribable the first time in your brain and then your the sleep is amazing definitely senses i noticed my sense of sight everything got clearer yeah. yep. over the next few days and it, i noticed a change almost immediately like within a couple of days yeah plus the focus it was like night and day literally and um i think what it also did for me is my ability to comprehend and think got better. And even if this wears off, I don't know if it wears off. We haven't really talked about that. I think my comprehension increased. Like there's no doubt about it. Mm. Vivian would say, I've noticed a significant change in, um, you know, how much you pay attention. You're a better listener, better at focus. And, and again, I believe my ability, my capacity to learn increased as a result of this. So that's and, my anecdotal version. But I've talked to plenty of other people I've sent over and they say the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, we've heard it time and time again. And I think anytime you can just get rid of some of the interferences, you remove some of the inflammatory uh, proteins in the brain, you just feel better. Did you notice any difference on your sleep or your vision? Oh, for sure. Or yeah, right away, I slept like a rock and for weeks. And I was particularly paying a lot more attention to my sleep at the time. Mm. So for me, the two biggest sleep disturbance mechanisms are travel um you know just inconsistent travel and of course alcohol those are the two worst offenders of sleep uh hygiene but again i felt like it gave me a boost so anyone i would say who's feels like they have adhd you're losing your edge you're starting to lose your ability to focus forgetting stuff um have trouble sleeping this is the best shortcut i've ever experienced by far yeah, I couldn't I couldn't agree more. It's yep. one of those therapies, and now you know using uh, different peptides with it, it just prolongs the the duration of it. And and so that's a lot of people ask, how often do I need to do it? Yeah, the first time I did it for me was super dramatic, as I mentioned. 
and it just stayed that way. My brain stayed focused. Mm. I haven't really you know, relapsed to, for lack of a better word. Okay. But um, when I did it the second time, so I did it three months later. I'm like, if a little bit's good, more is. I'm gonna have a super <laughs> brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I still have a small kind of Idaho redneck brain. Uh, uh, but <laughs> yeah. Even though I did it twice, uh, but I do it every year just prophylactically. Yeah. And the thing that we look at in the labs is we look at the homocysteine levels. Uh, we look at CRP. Uh, so it it actually it, it helps calm down inflammation in the entire body. But if I ever see my homocysteine levels creep up, I know, okay, it's time. Okay. Um, but generally, I just do it every year. Okay. that That is great. I think that's one of the writer downers. But let's get into the big promise of the podcast here. I want to talk about two things. Um, one of them is just taking a look at the overall body and the fact that when you do blood work, you check for 94 markers. And um, versus like when I was going through cancer and I got my regular blood work, I saw about 20 markers. Mm. And if you think about it, I guess uh, I want your perspective, but the way I frame this is, how could you possibly diagnose someone and know what's going on inside their body and how many people go undiagnosed or misdiagnosed for a long time? It's because it'd be like looking at a tire and wondering why your car doesn't run, right? It's like you're only looking at that one piece. Um, but what's your perspective? Why 94 markers? Why not the usual 20? What kind of insights does that give you? And then let's go to, again, I like the latest, greatest shortcuts that are going on right now. I want to get to the cord blood because that's one of your big breakthroughs. So yeah. let's start there and get to part okay. three. Well, you know, diagnostically, if you're, you know, we leave all the disease treatments to your doctor. I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. Western medicine's awesome at managing disease, uh, treating disease. And in order to do that, you just you have a very simple template and then you can build bigger protocols or bigger labs based on what the diagnosis is. In our model, we say, well, we're not interested in diagnosing as much as we're interested in finding the imbalances and then treating the root cause. So what my job is to do is to treat the cause of the cause. And so if we're going to reverse aging, which a lot of our clients come to us and they, they're they relatively healthy, you know, they say, hey, I'm, I'm worked with all the you know longevity experts and I just want to I want three to five percent better health. And so in order to do that, we run these 94 markers and what it shows us is cardiovascular function hormone function uh, we want to look at uh, are there any active infections in your body do you have allergies are there parasites we look at gut profiles look at all the liver enzymes we see you know are your filtration systems working properly and one of the most important markers that we look at is called anion gap and it's just an equation of your sodium chloride potassium levels and it actually gives us uh, a really good indication of how much stress your body's under. And I can tell you, of all the entrepreneurs we work with, um, it's rare. I think I've maybe seen two where their anion gap isn't through the roof. And so, mm. you know, even though entrepreneurs, you know, we're all like, oh, everyone's relaxed and they got a great lifestyle. Underneath it all, there's there's a dragon that needs to be tamed. Yep. And so that's the beautiful thing about the labs is we can predict how somebody's feeling, how they're performing, how they look, um, just by looking at their labs. It's um, some people it's startling because I don't even know, you know, what their chief complaints are, but but I can look at the labs and just ask them questions because I know how they feel based on what their labs look like. Yes, yes. And one of the things that we'll make sure that we um, share is Reagan and I just did a really short video where he goes through and looks at some labs. So I'm going to put that in the description copy and create a custom link. Um, which we'll call it capabilityamplifier.com slash labs. So you can actually watch this and learn how you can um, apply to get a free blood lab report from Reagan and his team. Um, you're going to apply to get an invite. So I'll make sure both of those are in the description copy and we'll go through those by the end of the podcast. Let's make sure we don't forget. I know we got Abby paying attention, so she'll make sure we don't forget. Um, all right, so you've done the, bl the blood labs, you've looked through, and I'm glad you brought up the distinction between diagnosis, you know, on, on where you look at. And there's something else um, I asked you about earlier today, and you had a really great response, which is your perfect fit 
individual who gets the best results consistently and it's the mindsets they have. Oh yeah. What do they all have in common? You know, out of the at this point thousands of patients you've had who consistently get great results. How do they think? What do they believe? Well, um we had the pleasure uh well I did. It was like Christmas for me today because we had a bunch of videos that came in. We asked some of our top clients. We said, hey, can you just tell us what your experience has been like? And it was startling just to see that the number one thing where they, you know, we asked them, like, what was it that almost prevented you from doing something about mm -hmm. your health? And, you know, a lot of them were like, oh, it was the investment or it was, you know, like Rob said, oh, it was almost too good to be true. But everything they said they would do, they've done it. And um, I think the biggest mindset that they all have is they recognize that the biggest return on an investment is when they invest in their health. They realize that their business, their relationships, their quality of life, everything improves when their health improves. And a lot of people have come to us and they've said, man, I wish I would not have sacrificed my health in order to try to capture wealth. I, I wish I would have focused on my health as I was building my business. And yes, in some cases, we know you have to push hard. You, we know you've got deadlines and those are really important, but you can actually do it without sacrificing your health. And and I can tell you when the health starts to dwindle, try being your best, the best husband you can be. And you know how that is. Mm -hmm. I know how that is too. Yeah. Like, you know, we become more short with the people closest with us and they get the, they get the, the worst side of us instead of the best side of us. Mm -hmm. And so once we swap that and we put your health as your number one priority, and then your spouse and your family is right there, number two, and then work becomes underneath that, it's funny how much better life becomes. Yeah. I think what I was um, looking for, I'm going to plus that, which was my body, my property, and keep keep out, you know. Yeah. And and why don't we just touch on that oh, a little here bit? We go. That's the mindset I was looking for yeah. because it'll sound it's not intended to sound the least bit political. Um, but there definitely is a consistent mindset that's like, I found my people here. Yeah. So one of my passions is studying the history of medicine. And one of the ways I one of the reasons I departed from conventional medicine is I read what's called the Flexner Report, and uh, the Rockefellers wanted uh, to have a monopoly on medicine mm -hmm. in the early 1900s. And so I believe it was like 1904, 1905, Dr. Flexner wrote this report and basically um, sabotaged anyone not practicing kind of an allopathic medicine approach. And the science in medicine hasn't evolved that much. Some of the same like physicals you get uh, and some of the same diagnostic exams were is what they're doing 110 120 years ago so so it's it's really put things in in a rough place and then also with enforcements uh you know where some of the government agencies are telling us what to put into our bodies mm -hmm. what to inject into our kids when they're born uh, a lot of us we finally had enough of of government intervention and so one thing that we believe in is that you're the owner of your body. And a lot of people don't recognize that. You know, you go to your doctor and you think, okay, my doctor is the one that knows the most about my body. I can tell you, I don't own your body. My team doesn't own your mm -hmm. body. Even though we know a lot about it, we want you to put yourself in the driver's seat and then hire a great executive team around it. Because one of the, the, the big things that we found is when there's the government intervention telling you what to do and when to do it, um, that's when there's uh, a bit of a sense of, you know, skepticism and, and rightfully so. And one of the things I love about the United States is even though we've fallen into that trap in so many cases, most of the entrepreneurs that we work with are people who want their independence. And, um, yeah, maybe you call them like libertarians or whatever mm -hmm, you'd, mm -hmm. you'd want to say, constitutionalists. Um, those are people that I find really fascinating to work with because they are very selective around what they put in their body. They don't want pharmaceutical medications. They don't, they don't want to be told what to do. They want to have their autonomy when it comes to their health. Mm -hmm. And they want to work with somebody who actually listens to them and then builds a protocol based on what their, their desires are, not yeah. what my desires are or my teams. Right. I think there's a big distinction here. This is not political. This is, um, a belief in a mindset 
And, um, you know, there's the conversation you have and then there's the real, real conversation you have when someone feels safe to tell you what they really believe and what they really think. And I think that's what I've found amongst a lot of the people who um, take this on. So I've got a couple more questions for you. I really want to and we're going to I'm going to prep this. So the cord blood plasma, I want to talk about that breakthrough. And then secondly, this notion of what you're doing right now, which is this at home delivery. It's a massive major breakthrough and it's a new way of doing longevity, doing yeah. rejuvenation. And again, I've been working with you now for a couple of years and it's been awesome just to have all the tools coming to me. I always say I can't wait for the day I get my Reagan box <laughs> uh, and I get this delivery of all these new goodies. And, you know, I feel better right away. You know, it's sort of like I can't wait to find out what kind of shift in energy I'm going to have. Or like we were just talking before we started today, I'm going to work on muscle mass and hair. Yeah. And I also uh, want to find just do another level of deeper tests. Yeah. Welcome to the world of three second attention spans and fewer than 20 seconds to get a prospect's attention, engage them, get to know, like, and trust you and say, I want and need what you have. Let's make a deal. Now, introducing Digital Cafe AI, a relationship building AI that will take your hard earned leads and make them feel like you're sitting down with them for a cup of coffee, listening to their needs and responding to them with a personalized, useful, resourceful solution. It's the perfect AI team. A Digital Cafe AI does hours or days of work that normally requires an expensive team of specialists in minutes. It's the fastest, easiest, automated way to get attention, engagement, and trust to close bigger deals faster. A Digital Cafe AI is a done-for-you service that can be adapted to any B2B or B2C business. A money loves speed and time kills deals. So visit Digital Cafe AI to see how it will work for you. So um, let's begin with the cord blood and why this is such a breakthrough. Well, for years, we've heard of young blood experiments and there's a, a French uh, physician in the 1800s who decided to uh, sew some mice together. It's called uh, parabiosis. And and he found that the uh, young mice would become old if they got the old blood and the the young the, the old mice would become young. So um, I know we don't work with mice. And so a lot of you are like, how does that relate to me? But what they found is in human experiments, they're finding that they're finding that if you use um, plasma exchange, so plasma is the part of your blood that removes the waste so it carries like really good uh stimulating factors for your body's own stem cells it actually there's this this protein called VEGF, so it's the the vascular endothelial growth factors um there's other uh properties uh and protein structures in the plasma that help regenerate your entire body because your body's sixty thousand miles worth of blood vessels and so the great thing about it is if you have really good vascularity you're, you could live forever, literally. And so that's where they've looked at how can we get rid of that waste in the blood? Because as we age, that toxic debris starts to build up and then you lose the ability to transport nutrients. So it's kind of like uh, highways. Mm -hmm. If you think of highways like in Park City right now, it's the end of winter and our roads are just- They're, they're trashed, yeah. They're hammered because mm -hmm. the plows have been moving snow out of the way. And that's exactly what happens. If they didn't come and resurface the road, the roads would just be, I mean, we'd all be driving, you know, 10 miles per hour because there'd be such severe potholes and damage. That's exactly what happens to our blood vessels. As we age, we lose the ability to get circulation into our muscles, circulation into our organs. And that's where you get a condition called sarcopenia. And sarcopenia is not talked about much, but it's the most dangerous condition you can have as you age because it's when your blood vessels get brittle and you lose your muscle integrity and that muscle gets replaced by fat. And when that happens, you lose balance, you lose muscle mass. This is why elderly people, they don't like to travel. Like Myrda, the fact that you were able to take Myrda, sweet Myrda, uh, and Mike's mother-in-law is phenomenal. I, yeah. I love I love her. She's Me too. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. Awesome. Yep. She's so awesome. Yeah. But she traveled, she went to Mexico. I yep. mean, that's unusual for someone her age. 
It's because one of the reasons is now she's in this reversal process where she's actually getting better circulation. So I've seen her when she was walking before my team worked with her. And now yeah, I look she at was her shuffling and um, yeah, definitely struggling and balance issues. And mm -hmm. uh, she's reduced her meds. Yeah, and she right. had some severe vertigo that, yep. um, and and she gave us permission to talk about it. So mm -hmm. hope, um, there's you know if you, for those she's of you totally wondering, we're... good. Yeah, <laughs> she's coming back soon. I'm gonna do a full interview with her, so oh, she's gonna be, be on the podcast too. Yeah. You guys will love her. She's sweet, but yeah. but sarcopenia is something that built up there. But when I looked at her labs, no one had talked to her about this. No one talked to her about her pancreas, her kidneys, her blood sugar, mm -hmm. anything. It was just all dismissed, to, and it was basically framed through the classic. Uh, excuse which is oh it's because of your age mm -hmm. and so uh, we don't want that so when we look at this cord blood plasma so cord blood uh, gets basically thrown away mother gives birth and that whole tissue structure gets thrown in the, into the garbage and what we've looked at for over a decade is we've said that's the that's like the 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 capabilities of growing a full human in our mother's womb i mean that's how we all you know, came to be. I mean, it's like, it's the essence of us is mm -hmm. right contained within the placenta and the umbilical cord. And then the blood is is the life force that feeds us as we're babies. I mean, it's amazing. And so instead of discarding it, what researchers have looked at is they've said, well, what's in this? And so they looked at the placenta and the placenta has these different shaped cells in it. And those, those particular cells have a function. You look in the umbilical cord and there's this stuff called Wharton's jelly. So it's this kind of thick substance around the blood vessels in the umbilical cord. And that's where you can harvest a lot of these MSCs or medicinal signaling cells. And that's what we use in a lot of the regenerative properties, create more cushioning and to activate your body's own healing properties. But then you say, well, what about the blood moving through there? And if you're using blood, it can be used for cases like leukemia or some of these autoimmune diseases. We don't use a lot of the, the cord blood itself because it can trigger some immunogenic properties and, and we just don't treat some of those conditions. Mm -hmm. um, it needs to be done in a hospital and, and you know under strict uh, guidance. But on the cord plasma, it's a very safe substance to use. Uh, it's centrifuged out and that plasma is almost like you know, a lot of doctors are doing what's called plasmapheresis, where they'll they'll send you through a, almost like a dialysis machine, where they'll pull out your old plasma and they'll replace with with replace it with albumin. But that works. But the problem with albumin is you're just getting rid of the old and you're not replacing it with the new. And so what they found by using cord blood plasma, you activate all the stem cells in your body because. Every blood vessel has what are called these little pericytes, not parasite like a Jardy mm -hmm. or something, mm -hmm. but pericyte are, are these little cells that turn into stem cells. And so when you flush plasma into your body, you activate all the stem cells in your body. And the very first thing I noticed when I started doing mine, it's just this little injection, just like, uh, you know, same thing you do with peptides. And I read a study and, and I talked to a bunch of doctors about this and I said, you know, in this study, all they did is 10 1 ml injections of it. And what the researchers found, the average age in the study, they were 72 years old. So there's people from 65 to I think the oldest was 92. And they found, they, they looked at 82 biomarkers and in the 20 top biomarkers that relate to aging and inflammation, all of those biomarkers improved. So their blood labs improved, so they had data. They also looked at the grim age. So they're looking at the DNA methylation and the grim age actually reversed. The one thing that didn't improve is the telomeres. Okay. And and so there's other things. So I, I put in epitalin. I have an article that I wrote on my whole stack, but but I use different peptide structures to help improve the the ability of that that cord blood plasma to regenerate my body. And the best thing that happened to me is I got 23 minutes of more deep sleep wow. every night on average. And that's deep sleep is really where your brain gets the benefits. So that's where yep. your brain's detoxifying. I noticed uh, my mental clarity was better, um, less pain. I mean, I, I was out of pain before, but I just felt like I was recovering faster. And so um, it's a treatment that we're really excited about because we've seen uh, patients who maybe they were, were plateaued 
and they just didn't they lost their edge a little bit and now they were able to pop back up and be right back on that progression so so we're just learning a lot about it but something that's super exciting it seems to be very well tolerated there's no safety issues that we've seen it's been used for decades and now we have the science behind it and we're seeing some phenomenal breakthroughs and the great thing is like you mentioned it's not like you have to come into the office and you know travel and you can do it do it right in your own home that's that is the breakthrough <laughs> so i'm going to go back to historically when you do um a lot of these longevity treatments it meant um and i won't say the phrase that youtube doesn't like but um let's just say there's certain kinds of longevity treatments that you might have to leave the country for and there are some breakthroughs right now um that are happening in utah I want you to mention that bill. And then the, the mere fact that now these can be delivered safely at home is a breakthrough. That's what I'm excited about. I can't wait till I get my next box. So can you talk mm -hmm. about the fact that these longevity treatments, what normally required you had to travel somewhere, oftentimes out of the country, and um, or in the case of plasma exchange, that you had to go somewhere and get hooked up to a machine, now, I have chemo veins. It is hard for me to be, there's a couple of machines I can't get hooked up to because mm. I don't have veins that are big enough anymore. It's just a chemo damaged them. Um, but this is a breakthrough because of the fact that um, you can treat yourself with them. Yeah. Talk about that. Well, I, I think the biggest thing, if, if you look at it, um, coming into the office, uh, you know, you can do, uh, you could drip a whole liter of uh, cord plasma into your body. But the new research, what the what they realize is just by putting like little micro doses in your body 10 days in a row, um, you start seeing this pretty dramatic shift in the overall inflammatory markers. And that's something that's really exciting because we find that even by doing this, you have an increase in exosomes. And exosomes are these little vesicles that can actually, they go and they do kind of the dirty work for stem cells. They trigger your body's own stem cells into action. They turn on peptide pathways. They activate genes. They downregulate inflammatory markers, specifically trimonocrosis factor alpha, IL-6. But the best thing about it is doing it at home is when you start tackling all these hallmarks of aging and so if we think of the challenges of aging you know we have loss of nutrient sensing we have loss of proteostasis so our bodies don't break down proteins as well mm -hmm. you know what i've always looked at is what's a simple treatment that's very safe and this is one of those and so what we found is that there is about five core peptides that that will be stacking with this treatment and then there's a very specific protocol that we we take our clients through. So in our ageless medicine program, part of what you do is you repeat this process either two or four times a year based on what your labs look like. And so it's once a quarter or twice a year, you get these vials and you pull them up in, in a nice, simple insulin syringe. Mm -hmm. And it's a subcutaneous injection. And it seems to be very well tolerated. Then there's going to be some peptides that you want to stack on top of that. And then we'll look at your blood labs afterwards and see what kind of changes have been made. And that's that's the most exciting part because it's one of the fastest ways that we know of to help the person's body regenerate and actually start, you know, really getting someone to turn back the clock. Okay. So let's talk about what a six month program looks like. Because over the past 48 hours, you had mentioned this already, but we did a request to a whole bunch of your patients who have been responding and sharing their transformations. And I'm gonna make sure that something else we provide are some links to some of these stories because I think the journey is important. But again, the majority of these folks, they're ultra high performing founder entrepreneurs. They're looking for an edge. Um, they're looking and they understand that great sleep means they're going to live longer and be happier um more muscle mass less fat and they're looking for i won't say shortcuts and workarounds but they're looking for more effective ways to get faster results yeah. that stick that aren't a pill for example or um some sort of something with with side effects yeah. and Again, your approach is always um, do the really intensive diagnostics right away, deep dive. I think when when you go to events, you know what 
everyone finds very entertaining about you is and educational is the fact that you can look at the blood report. You don't even have to know the person and you can say, okay, here's a person who, and you know, part of what I always do at an event, he says, I, I choose, I opt to have Reagan talk about my blood results publicly. I give up, you know, the whatever mm -hmm. kind of agreement is we have to have so we're HIPAA compliant. And I want to be, I want you to teach the room and uh, talk about what you see here. And you can basically look and say, this person is feeling this way when they wake up. Here's their sense of mood. Here's what their energy level's like. Here's probably their cravings and when it's happening. Um, here's what's going on with their muscle, their mindset. I mean, you can peer in really quickly and then determine like what is the first thing to do. And you know, here are the peptides to start using. Here's how to increase and improve your sleep. Here's how to increase your muscle mass, etc. But what's a typical scenario look like? What? Six months, 12 months, what are we finding from all these cool testimonials we're getting that we've learned about over the past 48 hours? Man, well, uh, the biggest thing we've learned is that when people go in, when they when they sign up for a program, when they said, all right, I, I'm, I'm ready to change my, my health and my body, um, j just like Michael Mogul. I mean, I thought his um, video was amazing because... He shared just some insights. He said, hey, when I have detailed questions, you know, Reagan and the team gets back to me instantly instead of getting annoyed. They give me a really scientific uh, reasoning behind it with evidence, you know, so I'll, uh, you know, include articles that I've been reading. Um, we heard that time and time again. Rob, it was really cool to hear what he was saying about, he said, hey, uh, you know, it almost seemed too good to be true, but everything that uh, uh, they told me would happen, happened. You know, mm -hmm. they fulfill, he said, in, in a business environment these days, um, customer service and having a company with high integrity doesn't exist, but East West Health, he said, has, you know, has met all his expe expectations and then some, and he's, He's a guy that, you know, former Major League Baseball player, has lots of big businesses and so high expectations. So it's it's it was really great to see that. But I think at the the biggest one was hearing Ben and Jana Laws. I mean, really good friends. They've been through a lot. And just to capture what it's done for them as a couple, because they've grown closer together as they've worked on their health. Not only closer, I mean, they had a great relationship all along, but mm -hmm. um, but just seeing their transformation, just seeing how appreciative they are. I mean, uh, Ben is Mr. Optimism and, and positive, and he's just an amazing human, great friend, as is Jenna. But just seeing those guys light up when they talked about, you know, kind of their concerns early on before they they jumped into the program but then what they have gotten out of the program the biggest thing i got out of jenna was her saying that you know she knows her body better than she ever imagined she would better than better than ever and so i think that's the biggest thing that people will get is it's like a you know you're getting a, a uh, an education curriculum you're getting mm -hmm. a, a phd in how your own body works and you know just like we go back to we want you to be the owner of your body um you know hire a ceo hire a great team and that can make all the difference in the world and and you can't have a great team if they're not running the right data you wouldn't mm -hmm. hire a ceo to run your company right if you didn't have the right you know, if, if they're like, well, we don't need to really look at KPIs. We'll just, you know, as long as we, uh, you know, the, we're in the black, we're good, right, Mike? And you're like, yeah. wait, wait, whoa. You want to make sure that you're working with a team that's looking at labs in, yeah. in detail. And it was really rewarding, you know, hearing, uh, you know, Chad Rush. He's like, hey, I was able to run again. He hasn't ran in years. Yeah. Um, uh, even hearing uh, Jim, who's uh, incredibly, uh, I mean, he's a, he's a lawyer and an accountant. And so... <laughs> He, um, it, it, I, it was fun working with him because he knew all the right questions to ask. And before I ever mm -hmm. signed up, I mean, he was looking at things inside no, out, upside down. he really seemed down. like a fact finder. Definitely a uh, kind of guy who does his research, for deep, sure. Yeah. Deep fact finder. And I love yeah. working with fact finders because I, as you know, I nerd out on this stuff. And even quick starts, if you can't get them result fast enough, then they're they're looking for the next thing. They're just mm -hmm. like, hey, I gave you two weeks, Reagan, and I don't feel better. I'm out. So, yep. so we've learned um, how to adapt and how to make sure that we get uh, you know all the research and the science and the data so that people can feel comfortable in uh, what they're doing. But we base it all off of their labs. It's all uh, you know. It's based 
on personal, it's a personalized medical approach. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's in a way that, that I don't know of anyone else doing it like this. And so to hear from those, those clients, you know, both quick starts and fact finders, how, you know, right, right out of the, I mean, hearing Randy's, uh, his experience, you know, where he's lost 20 pounds and how he was on the airplane and, you know, he just met someone who's like, oh, go see Reagan and East West. And then he sits next to a stranger on the airplane and it's like, hey, you look great. Oh, yeah, I'm just coming from East West. I'm yeah, flying yeah. home. It's yeah. like, isn't that funny? Like, it's just so synchronistic um, how the universe works. But um, just seeing the transformations was really exciting to me. Yeah. And obviously, I've, I've seen it time and time again, plus my family. I mean, it's um, um, we have so many friends who enter in so incredibly skeptical and they don't know what peptides are or they they misunderstand them um and there is an education process you know this is the best way to get sucked in is to have your blood work done first because there were i remember the first time we did a live event together where you came in and everyone got their blood work ahead of time and we shared examples and I opened up and I said, I want Reagan to share mine. And some of it wasn't great. You know, I needed some work at the time, but then someone would be like, I want you to do me next. So we had a right. group offering and they said, I want everyone to learn from this. And we got to see the contrast and that created the snowball effect. And couples who normally wouldn't be on the same page about their health got on the same page yeah. immediately because the blood is irrefutable and when you have enough markers um you can share that and you, you see a couple looking at each other and they decide at that moment to get on the same page and a couple or a partner or even business partners who get on the same page about their health see a rapid transformation not only in their intimacy and connection as a couple but also business partners who are committed to each other and to the business and to the vision and the mission who also bring that into their organizations and you know, a bunch of my team members are also in the program, Yeah. you know, and they are like Tom Lombat and his wife. He's lost. I just saw him at a 360. He's lost at least 25, if not 30 pounds. And he's down. I can't remember how many pants sizes he said he had to get rid of all right. of his, um, you know, that's, that's remember when Chuck Boyce, right. he had been to the tailor six times in right. eight months. He sent me um, the receipts. He's yeah, like, yeah. this is costing me a fortune getting on my suit. I'm like, sorry, man. Yeah. But then, um, and then the other reports of people who, um, you know, say they they're on uh, one out of five medications now Yeah. as a result. So that to me is, one of the most satisfying experiences is, is the intimacy it creates when you get on the same page and also the additional money you make, um, how much better you look. You see it in someone's face so quickly mm -hmm. when their inflammation is reduced, but also, you know, you're not afraid to take your shirt off. Sometimes right. for the first time people will say like, this is the first time in my life at 40 something, I have a six pack yeah. and that's profound. Yeah. So um, that's a hell of a, a gift. So let's talk a little bit about um, we've got some goodies to give away. So one of the things that I mentioned and Abby back channeled me, who's listening and producing in the background, you can go to capabilityamplifier.com slash labs. You can also go to, we set up a special link to request an inf invite for free blood labs. Yeah. So you have to be in the US. You have to meet some criteria. It's at agelessmedicine.co slash invite. Um, you can also get a copy of your book, The Peptide Blueprint, which is right here, right here at Peptide Blueprint. And you have a brand new book coming out. Uh, what else do we need to know about getting started and rocking and rolling with you? Well, I think uh, one of the other pieces of, of um, I, I think the, the best thing that we do as a company is we host retreats. And our longevity retreats oh, yeah. are phenomenal because... What we do is um, we work with people like Justin Donald brings his lifestyle investor mastermind. To, uh, you know, he'll bring it to the clinic, or we'll take our show on the road. So mm -hmm. we can we can work with entrepreneurs, and um, we can I can speak for ten minutes like I will at Genius Network, and we can run blood labs on everybody in your group, uh, or you can bring your team into our office, and if it's the right group, then we'll we'll host you. 
and we'll run blood labs on everybody and we'll take them through an entire day, uh, either your group or we have some executive teams that come in and uh, we have a blast because everybody in the office gets to work with you. You have these bays where you get you get to you know meet new people. We take you through thinking tools. We run you through our biohacking lounge, so you get to try PEMF, uh, red light therapy. We put you on the vibe table, which just it's acoustic healing, which mm-hmm. feels really phenomenal. Everybody gets vitamin IVs. Then we have a peptide party. So if you're like, what are these peptides and which ones are good for me? Well, they're called tr- woohoo. Ooh, yeah, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to try a bunch of them. It's and, good. And it's so fun to see. We we actually had one of our, our last retreat a couple weeks ago. One of the participants there, she said, yeah, I hope this doesn't come off on the wrong way, but the East West is my new church. She's oh, yeah. like, Reagan's the preacher. You guys uh-huh. are the apostles. Yeah, yeah. And I just love it there. And she just felt so at home and she made a really good friend. We have people doing business connections. Mm-hmm. I mean... It's meant to be a place where health is always fun has been removed from health mm-hmm. and community has been removed from health. It's you in a room waiting for the doctor and it's a sterile room and it's it's you and the doctor only. And we respect your privacy. Don't get me wrong. But mm-hmm. when you're in a community and you see other people doing it, you get great ideas. You learn more about totally. how to ta- tackle your health from the people in that room than you ever could from me. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to I want to just repeat what you said, because I like doing it because I found that if there's one domino in the room, everyone has a 10x experience. And that's why I've always openly said, start with me. No one has to do this. I've signed the agreement, making it perfectly clear. It's cool to share my results. And um, it starts conversations that go way beyond that one room experience. And you're absolutely right. You create lifelong friends when you're in an intimate environment like that. And um, the business connections, the personal connections, the best friends, you know, the people that you're closest to are the ones who are on the same page with you with the same value system, the same beliefs and the same commitments. And having someone that you can check in with who is going through a rapid transformation, you know, some of the people you're around aren't going to keep up. Yeah. And I think you got to say, that's okay, too. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, sometimes you have to upgrade your friends. And yep. so um, we take our everyone who comes to the retreat. And by the way, uh, retreat is something I'd love to invite you guys to attend as a guest. We have them mm-hmm. at least once a month. And come check it out and, and experience it. Because uh, we take you through the Health Accelerator checklist. And then we take you through a tool. And this is one that Dan Sullivan helped me create, um, which is the 10-year roadmap. Mm-hmm. So we help you look at, okay, what are the lifestyle, what are the best things you do from a health perspective, a relationship perspective, and a mindset perspective when it comes to your best lifestyle? And then we start looking at energy generators. What are the things that generate energy? And so we help you identify the activities that you love doing the most. Like some people love playing pickleball. I love mountain biking. I love snowboarding. Those are big things for me. I love reading and writing. And 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 those that brings me a lot of joy, music, art. Um, and then we have what are your fun experiences because once again I think fun it needs to be central when it comes to healthcare and medicine I know it's kind of counterintuitive uh, for a lot of us the way we've been taught to just comply with what your doctor says your doctor knows best but actually it's like no have fun because fun is healing mm-hmm. laughter fun and so we help you identify the big experiences you want to have in the next 10 years so essentially you're planting seeds in your biology just like the the book biology of belief by bruce oh, yeah. it's like plant some seeds so that you can grow a bigger future when it comes to your health and then we help you execute so we show you we run styq so we look at your body fat to muscle percentage um, we do the carotid artery scans we'll literally show if there's plaque in your artery how old your arteries are um, we feed you. Um, you'll work with our fitness team. We'll take you through the Fitness 50 uh, at age 100 benchmarks. Um, it's it's just a phenomenal day. And, and our promise is we'll do more for your health in a day than most people do in a year. It is such a, it is such a blast. Can't recommend it enough. So that's a great add-on. So I'm going to go through the opportunities we have here. One of them, you can get your invitation for your free blood lab test at agelessmedicine.co slash invite. You can go to capabilityamplifier.com slash labs to watch this bonus video with Reagan actually going through and you'll see how he evaluates blood test results and what he looks at and what peptides uh, get prescribed 
um, based upon those results. And you also learn a little bit more about the improvements and changes you can make. And I'll make sure you get a link so you can get a copy of Reagan's book, The Peptide Blueprint 2. Anything else before we wrap up, my friend? No, this it's, it's been phenomenal. And I just appreciate uh, your creativity and the energy you have, Mike. And I, I just, my job is to keep you going for the next 100 years. So, woohoo! yeah, let's keep it up. All right. Well, I'm... Uh, I'm good with high quality up until the very end. That's the most yep. important thing of all. And it's been, I know my life is better because you're in my life and what you're doing for me and my family means a lot. So thanks, brother. My pleasure. All right, let's say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is Capability Amplifier. Make sure you share this episode if you know someone who could benefit from what we talked about today, who could benefit from knowing or meeting Reagan, reading his books or going through those labs. Bring a business partner, a spouse with you. This is the way to create more connection, more intimacy, and a higher quality life for anyone and everyone in your life. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.